Hey y'all, I am Moon and you are now tuning into Nostalgic Moon TV. My YouTube channel is celebrating everything nostalgia. I'm so excited for you to join me today. Earlier, I did a little bit of shopping to a few vintage stores looking for some goodies. I went to a vintage collector store as well as Goodwill and a record store. So I'm excited to show you what I bought. So let's start over here with the VHSs. So I got these from Goodwill at a very good price. These were 50 cent a piece. So first one up is Anastasia. And this is one of my favorite movies. I don't think I've ever owned it. I don't have it on DVD, but it is on streaming service, but I've never actually owned it. This is one of my favorite movies. Um, rated G, 20th Century Fox. And I'm trying to figure, I always try to figure out which year it came out in. Oh, here it is, 1997. So, case is in really, really good shape. I've already rewound. Be kind, rewind. All right, who's next? All right, next we have this Gold Clam Columbia TriStar Family Collection of the Indian and the Cupboard. And unfortunately, at the bottom, it says you get a free Indian cover and a key included. But of course, this is only the VHS. And if you turn around on the back, it has a little picture of what this VHS actually would have included. I'm gonna have to try to look for that on eBay. But this um, case is in very good shape too. It just has a little bit of wear and tear there. Inside, it's completely gold. And I've, of course, rewound this VHS as well. This movie was released in 1995 and I was only eight years old when this came out. I haven't seen this in a while, so I actually might give this a watch later. All right, and then next we have Robin Williams in Flubba, rest in peace, we love you Robin Williams. So this movie, I'm not, I don't remember the storyline, um, I don't really remember going to the movie, seeing this as a child, but I of course know that it's a classic. So I figure, you know, why not? So running time for this is 94 minutes and also trying to see which year that it was released in. I'm not really seeing that. Let's see if it's written on the VHS. And it's not saying, but if you know which uh, year that this came out in, make sure to let me know down below. But yeah, we have Robin Williams in Disney's Lover. And then next here, I have never owned this movie, but it is of course a classic. I have Walt Disney's The Lion King. Now, I already had Lion King 2 Simba's Pride, but I did not own the original. And this case, unfortunately, is not in the very best shape, but that's okay. We have a little wear and tear there back looks really really good and then just a little bit of wear and tear here on the corners but lion king is a classic i still have not seen the new live action lion king let me know below if you've seen it or not and what you thought of course compared to the original yeah this is one of my favorite movies everybody of course knows that heartbreaking scene <sighs> All right, and then lastly for my VHSs, I got Disney's Air Bud Golden Retriever. So I know that this series spawned a lot of sequels and Golden Retrievers is actually one of my favorite dogs. I currently don't own a dog, but when I do, I would love to get a Golden Retriever. And so I figured why not get this movie here? And this clamshell is in pretty good shape too. Just a little bit of wear and tear on the corners, which is expected from the opening and closing of that. And of course I've rewound it. I hope you like my ambience going. And also this candle right here is by DW Home and the scent of it is cereal milk. And they kind of marketed it as, you know, nostalgic on Saturday morning. It smells like cereal and milk. And to me, it actually does. It smells just like um, Fruity Loops. So I'll leave the link down in the description below and you can get one of these candles. It definitely gives nostalgic feel and it smells amazing. All right, and then next, this is what I actually got from the collectible store. We have a Edward Scissorhands Funko Pop. Look how he looks there with his scissor hands. And I really love this movie. Of course, Johnny Depp does a great job. Winona Ryder. These are some of the other ones here. Winona Ryder does a great job. Good storyline. And also, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, that was one of the last movies that Vincent Price ever was featured in, of course, due to his passing. I absolutely love Vincent Price's voice, and he's a great actor as well. But yeah, I just had to have 
this Edward Scissorhands Funko Pop. It's such a good movie. Let me actually go to the vinyl next. So this is what I got from the vinyl store. And this is the album by Diana Ross. And I think it's self-entitled. And of course on the front it has um, Reach Out and Touch Somebody's Hand, which is one of her popular songs from this album. This photo shoot here, I love the colors and the cover of that. And then on the back, of course, she has that dress on. She always could dress. Her fashion was out of this world. Even, you know, this is before she had like the big hair, but she still looks amazing there. So on the back, it says on side one, you have reach out and touch somebody's hand. Now that there's you, you're all I need to get by. These things will keep me from will keep me loving you. Ain't no mountain high enough, one of my favorite songs. Then on side two, we have something on my mind. I wouldn't change the man he is. Keep an eye where there was darkness. Can't it wait until tomorrow and dark side of the world. And this vinyl case is actually, even though it's um, still got the cover on it, it's actually kind of tough. Like it's not, you know, sleek. It's like a textured type um, vinyl. But I've actually never heard this album in its entirety. And so I'm very um, excited to listen to this vinyl album. And this is like music that I listen to, you know, when I come down and I'm winding down from work or even when I'm, you know, cleaning the house, this would be something great to listen to. So we have the Diana Ross self-entitled vinyl. All right. And then this is one of my absolute favorite finds. We have a plastic cup here. And as you can see, they have different drawings of cassettes. And this definitely gives me nostalgia because it gives me 90s vibes. And that was the era that I actually grew up in. So I love this. I've already, you know, brought it home and cleaned it. It's not scratched up too bad, but I love this. I can't believe somebody had this at Goodwill and wanted to give it up. All right, and then I got a bit, a little bit of CDs as well. This was also from that vinyl record um, shop. And so the first one I got is Diana Ross and the Supremes 25th Anniversary Volume 2. And look how foxy they look on that cover. This CD was distributed by Motown. And so there on the back, you do have a good amount of songs. It has 26 songs on here. And this was released in 1986 for their greatest hits. Then next, I actually like all different types of music. And so this is extra throwback. We have a The Essential Mozart, his greatest work performed by the Moscow Symphony Orchestra here. So we have Mozart there on the front. And then on the back, you have 11 different songs. You have different overtures, um, you know, first and second movements, things of that nature. And this was produced and released in 91 and 1992 as well. But I love classical music. It, amazing to wind down to after a long day of work, or even sometimes I'll actually drive it because I drive a good ways from my work to home. I'll actually put that in my car so that it'll make the drive easier. And then lastly for CD, we have, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, so forgive me guys, is Chabovsky and it's Romeo and Juliet, 1812 Overture, Capriccio Italian and March, March Assault. This was only 99 cent. And again, for the same purpose, winding down, then we have, and the songs are long too, and that's what I always liked about classical music and music from that era. And then lastly, the owner of the vinyl record store actually gave me this 45 single for free. So on the front, you have Pointer Sisters Dance Electric, and I love that artwork there. It says Planet on there, it's MCA Music, and then on the back, you have I'm So Excited which I love that song, I'm so excited. And I had never seen this actual, sorry, dropped it. I had never seen this actual single, but I have the full vinyl, which is Pointer Sisters Breakout, which I already had, which has those two, those two singles on this vinyl. I love their 80s attire and their makeup, love it. But all right, guys, this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you own any of these vintage merch that I was able to show you today. Which one was your favorite? Make sure to let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to discussing with you. And remember, every day is a great day to celebrate nostalgia. I'll see you next time.